I start to see all these tweets about the Vegas race, right? You see the 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 prices. You see, I mean, the prices honestly are absurd. Like it's it's insane. And like I love Las Vegas. Like I would love to go to this race just to be there and hang it. Like no chance am I going to be given a credential to get in the paddock from anyone. I don't think. But maybe I'll, well, we're going to win the Indy 500 this year, so maybe then I'll qualify for that. But it's it's sort of giving me these vibes um, that the Fire Festival, I would say, gave to people. I, I don't know if anyone watched that documentary on Netflix, but I'm I'm gonna if you haven't, please do. Fire Festival was this great thing that was gonna be awesome. We're gonna go down to an island and party and see the best DJs and musical acts play. And everyone got down there in a bunch of tents and sandwich boxes. And it was a complete scam. I I, I obviously think that, you know, Formula One is one of the world's largest sporting organizations. So it's, it's not going to be that. But there's just all these vibes that I get like, man, are they really selling all these? Like, I mean, and if they are, congratulations to them. But like, is it really going to be that cool? Like, are they really going to get all this stuff built at a high enough level? Like, I I mean, the race is happening this year. I haven't seen a shot other than a shot that's completely computer generated of yeah, no, the event. Of of the yeah. tra- I, all I've seen is renderings. You have nine months, maybe. Well, not even nine months. You have, like, potentially six to seven months to be, like, fully ready to rock and roll for this major world event that they keep saying that they're now, which again, this made me want to punch someone directly in the throat, but they are saying it's going to be the grading, the greatest racing spectacle on the planet. Bunch of frauds. They don't know that. And so I, it's Las Vegas Grand Prix could be fire festival. It could be the biggest motorsport fire festival of all time. Feel free to disagree with me on that. I don't know. I hope it's successful because that sounds great. But does it not put off all these vibes like, wow, this sounds absurd. Like, is this really going to happen? Are there really going to be these wild penthouse activities? Maybe there are enough rich people in the world to go do all these things with all their rich friends. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, Marshall Pruitt, but uh, he looked it up. There's like $30,000 for a week pass for the garage. I mean, it's, it's literally... You know, people's uh, yearly big, salaries. Exactly right. That's what I was about to say. So one, the greatest racing spectacle on the planet it seems like a direct, absolute direct shot at uh, our uh, greatest spectacle. Um, so yes, throw bunches ensue there for sure. Uh, but then two, were we coming up? I mean, last year the Miami race, like it, what was it? Everything that they built it up to be, right? I mean, it, it, it kind of was a letdown, wasn't it? Not just talking about the on track, but like all the, again, all the renderings that we saw down there in South Beach of the fake pools and the yachts and everything. <laughs> it, it turned out to be not as great. Am I wrong? There was a few, yes, there, there there was, there were a few people that did mention like, hey, this, uh, the paddock club was not up to standards of the paddock club of the, of the past you know, European Formula One events. So again, I, I and, and I hate to say this because I actually, the, the team manager that I drove for at Carlin's IndyCar team is involved with the Formula One race in Vegas. So I, I, I he's, a, he's been awesome to me. And so I don't, I would never throw him under the bus. But this whole event, just what they're trying to do, the direct attack at IndyCar and the Indy 500, I don't like that. It's very European of them to just completely assert themselves as the best. Now, again, Formula One is without a doubt, the top-level motorsport series in the world. We, we we don't want to ever, like, completely aware of that. But it doesn't mean that we can't, like, where is the respect? Just It's just a little bit more respect for events because, again, us as drivers, we respect certain events. We know that the Monaco Grand Prix is the Monaco Grand Prix. We know that if you're winning a Formula One race, that's obviously, you know, the, that's the biggest thing you can do other than winning the Indy 500. No big deal. But... It's it, it's just a matter of like, look, if you're going to come over to basically our territory and do 
do well, obviously, like it, 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 it just it still doesn't make sense to have to like completely try to destroy everything else along the way. And maybe that is maybe that's what business is all about. Maybe I maybe that's why I'm not rich, because I don't like destroying people or trying to ruin people's businesses. I don't know. But it seems like Las Vegas at the end of the day could be a fire festival. Feel free to disagree. But goodness gracious, I, I wanted to go. I don't think I'm going to go. I, I, I unless unless I'm really bored and life is going great. Like if I want the 500, I will go to the Las Vegas race. But I'll probably end up staying, you know, in Arizona the, and yeah, <laughs> I'll stay in Arizona and drive there every day. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I will not be there. Uh, I got one Vegas trip in me this year, and that's for a bachelor party in September. So that's going to be my Vegas trip, and I'll scout it out then. September, it'll be, hey, we're going to have to start figuring some things out here in Vegas. So yeah, I'll see then see if they've made any moves or what's happening. But yeah, I will not be making that trip in November, that's for sure. And I probably feel safe to say that majority of our listeners probably won't as well. That's not a knock. It's just I don't know anybody who has $30,000 laying around on top of the travel to go out there and oh. stay for the weekend to just go in the garages and be a part of that. So there and, you go. And just a real quick, Nathan Brown from... Uh, Indie Star, he tweeted something about the actual trademark, and I don't know what this business stuff means, but apparently, like we we do have the trademark for the greatest spectacle in racing since May sixth, nineteen eighty five. So, like we do have that trademarked, um, and I I guess you can say it's not a trademark violation, but like well, that's it's, the thing. With it's all the same words, just. The Shuffled. thing with copyright, that's the thing with copyright and, and trademark is what I've learned is that I think it's like, you just have to be able to make the argument that it's like 7% different. Seven, than, that's it? Yeah, something like that, like <laughs> 7 or 10%. So like, you, you know, you just, again, you, you jumble up some words, you add an extra one in there, you can, you're walking the line, yes, but, you know, uh, according to, I think by the law, and people correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember back to like communication law law back in uh, college, it was like, yeah, somewhere between seven and 13%. It was like all you had to show or tweet differently to make it to where you can't take them to court or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and now, now everyone's got their thing, right? Cause Daytona 500, the great American race. Like we love yep. that. That's, that's awesome. Completely happy with that. Um, and you know, greatest spectacle in racing Indy 500, obviously. I mean, it's still, I mean, again, I don't care if they sell. They physically cannot have even close to the amount of people that we have at the Indy 500. Nothing can. I'm sorry. It's just never going to be this. It's never going to be the Indy 500. But here, there's a couple more little little copyright things to read into. In the sports and entertainment capital of the world, right? Which we also have racing capital of the world trademarked. So yep. again, this is a complete shot at IndyCar from F1. They know they're in a powerful position. They want to, and again, we we are small. Like like the true honest fact about this is, IndyCar is small on the scale of motorsport. We we get it right, but I don't know to 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 deliberately go after certain things like that. It just honestly seems it just seems it's kind of like okay, well, like that's just dumb. Like because we as race fans, like we. That, it just doesn't seem right. And again, I, I, people will disagree with me because there's a lot of Formula One people that will, you know, absolutely go to war with you on Twitter for no apparent reason other than to stretch certain parts of their body out, you know, and 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 think that hey, we are better than you, ha ha. It's like, well, you actually don't participate in anything. So this is what puts food on my table. This is what I love. And I love all racing. Right? I love Formula One. I watched the race, even though it was boring as as all boring could be. Uh, and we got another race this weekend coming up in Saudi Arabia. So good for them for you know trying to attack us. But uh, the Indy 500 is still going to um, absolutely demolish any Formula One race ever. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. 